Yo 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 it's ads and today I've been logged in for 101 days Now I should have made this video yesterday uh, When I was logged in for 100 days but I was live streaming for the whole day as usual So um, yeah we're making it today <clears throat> So I want to show you guys my whole account The whole account overview of what I've managed to achieve in 101 days Alright so I guess we'll start off with my survivor squads Now um, my survivor squads are actually really really good as you can see they're all legendary, all 130, and most of them have a mythic lead. The only one that doesn't is this one. I need to get a personal trainer, and then once I've got that, I can match with that, and I'll be set for 131. And you might be thinking, hang on a minute, how have you got such good survivor squads, but your power level isn't like up in like the 129s or the 130? And that's because of my research uh, points, which I'll get onto in a bit. But uh, yeah, let me just run you through my survivors, as you can see, they're all 130. And uh, I've got some other spares as well. I have to save Curious, the Competitive, and uh, the Cooperative. Them three are the only three uh, personalities I need, because they're the only ones that the uh, Mythic Trainer can have. Uh, as you can see in the collection book. We scroll down to personnel, unique leads. Uh, the personal trainer has curious, cooperative, and uh, cooperative. So, that's so yes, I need curious, competitive, and cooperative. They are the three personalities that I need. Um, moving on from this, I guess we can go to my research. <laughs> so I'm level 90 on three of them, apart from the resistance. They were all the same level, but what happened was I decided to uh, reset the whole research and try and boost up my power level by only upgrading Fortitude, Offense and Tech because I got told that Resistance you, you should uh, do last and not do it at all. Uh, for me that didn't work out. As you can see, I, I would have been on like power level 124 or maybe even 5, but uh, when I reset it all, uh, it dropped my power level down by like 1 or 2. So. Um, yeah, unfortunately that didn't work. So yeah, I'm level 90 on tech, offense, and fortitude, and level 60 on resistance. Okay, so my account level is 310. Um, my pass level, however, is 42, so that means I am level 352, technically. Uh, I just checked up on Fortnite DB. Um, my XP boost, I don't have many. Uh, I use them a lot. Also, my friends, and when I live stream, people give me some XP boosts. Um, another thing about XP boosts is I don't even have um, the deluxe. I'm still on the standard. I've been on the standard forever because I didn't see the point in upgrading. I don't need any of the blue rarity stuff. Um, the founder's real is an alright pistol, but me personally, I didn't really want to get it. The main reason being is because um, they already charge you real money for the game to save the world and then it gives you loads of bugs, glitches, my game crashes 24-7, um, you know sometimes I can't even load into a mission and there's just been days where it's been so stressful so I didn't want to invest even more money into the game. Um, so yeah that's just my personal opinion. Um, moving on from this, I guess we can go to my schematics, I guess. Um, I don't have many, because I didn't focus on my uh, schematics, I focused on my power level, my heroes, uh, that type of stuff. So as you can see, I've got, they're mainly just mythics, and I've got a couple of god roll traps. Uh, these were for my endurance, which I'll get onto in a bit. Now I've got some of the new weapons, not new but they came out. So yeah, not that many. Uh, we can go to my resources now. I have 75 legendary flux. I have 2.8k legendary perk up because I had like 10k and I've god rolled a lot of stuff. I have 810 epic flux. I've got 4.6k epic perk up, 2.6k I have storm, 4.3k lightning in a bottle. 10.1k uh, pure drop of rain 1.4k storm shard i've got 15.6k tickets 108,000 gold 1.1 thousand rare flux 658 rare perk up 
Um, 26 XP boosts, 816 on common perk up, 24 XP boosts, um, 10.2k amp up, uh, 7k fire up, 5.5k frost up, 34 mil hero XP, 251 mini reward llamas, 18.8 reperk. 23 million schematic XP, 31 million survivor XP, 7.1k training manuals, 10.3k trap designs and 44k weapon designs. The reason why I have so little training manuals and not weapons is because back when I was a noob, I always thought uh, for the schematics I should get the weapon designs. Never thinking about my power level, that was back in like week 1, week 2 of when I started playing but then after that I realised, oof, I actually need training manuals. So yeah guys, the uh, resources is probably the best thing on my account due to the fact of me only playing for 100 days, I don't have any of the good old schematics, the good old uh, heroes, none of that type of stuff, so talking about heroes, let's move on to my uh, hero collection. I don't have really many good ones, but the ones I do have, they're 130, uh, I try to make it work with what I have. I've got links, I'm not going to like talk about them all, you get the idea. Uh, I'll go through my hero loadouts as well after this, so I'll quickly just uh, skim through these. Um, so yeah, some of these are from dungeons, some of these are from the collection book. Uh, links I used my hero recruitment voucher for, I know I should have used it for the dinosaur heroes. But again, I used it back when I didn't have links, and links wasn't in the item store at that time. So, yeah, that was a noob mistake, but hey ho, links did help me out a lot. So, yeah, they're the heroes I have. Uh, onto my hero loadout. For my links, this is what I've had to use to make it worse. Worse work. <laughs> I had to use the saw in Mantis. I just love it for getting around. I don't have blasts from the past or anything because I know that is really good for your health. I could use Happy Holidays, but um, yeah, I just like using saw in Mantis. I can move around quicker. This is for my Kunai. This is for my Throne Stars. This is for increased damage to miss monsters, assault damage for assault and SMG damage, and this is for melee. So this is like overall. I try to make this work for different types of stuff for the ninja, so everything she does is just good. I use Adrenaline Rush and Stationary Turrets, that's practically what I use for everything apart from my Constructors. Moving on to my Constructor, for my jail build I have Power Base Nox, I have Recycling, I have Lofty Architecture, Mega Base, Bomb Suit, Tough Tracks and Plasma Overdrive. Now the reason why I have uh, Plasma Overdrive and Bomb Suit is because as, as you can see I don't have many good heroes. The main ones you need is Tough Traps, Mega Base, uh, Lofty Architecture and Power Base Nox. You don't actually need Mega Base but say you're doing it for something else then he's pretty good. And uh, yeah so I don't have many good constructors. I use Banner and Slow Field so I just had to make it work with what uh, I had. Commando Spitfire, now I use this for um, dungeons, uh, he decreases going commando cooldown by 66% and then I've got happy holidays, first cup of the day, ain't done yet, gadgeteer, assault damage and unearthly treat, again not the best, I could probably change these two but you know, unearthly treat I find is pretty cool for the end, uh, for the mini boss. And then Archaeologist, this is what I use for farming, again, not good at all, I just had to throw in what works, so obviously, Sustained Smash, Gadgeteer, Going Coconuts, Bomb Suit and Unearthly, Unearthly Treat, absolutely trash for uh, farming, but it's the best I could do. Swordmaster Ken, he, this is my melee, um, melee loadout, Soaring Mantis again. Increases sword heavy attack efficiency, melee damage, uh, sword damage, pistol, uh, unearthly treat, and assassination. And then special forces banshee. We're not even going to talk about this one. <laughs> um, this is a build I was trying for the MSK uh, for the hardware crit rating. I don't have them in legendary, so that's that. Machinist Harper for my endurance. 
Again, not the best. The main ones in it is uh, Machinist Harper, Supercharged Traps, Tower Modulation, Lock, the Architecture, and Mega Base. They're the only really ones you need. Uh, base car, this is for, um, say I'm doing a high power level mission, like a 140 Ride the Light. I use this because it gives the base the most health, still repairs it a little bit, and increases trap damage and the connectivity range. Uh, and obviously for every constructor, uh, damage affected by base increases by 8.5%. So I think that's pretty cool. And they are all my hero loadouts. Alright then, so as you can see my hero loadouts are pretty trash, but uh, <laughs> let's just not talk about that. Let's move on to the uh, collection book now. I have a level of 169. Now there's a few things in here that I could probably take out, but uh, I'm not really sure what. I'm not really too bothered. The uh, heroes that I have, they get me through. When I get even better heroes, obviously I'll make my loadouts better. Um, defenders I only need a couple more survivors I've kept these out for when I needed um, them for my survivor squads nearly all of the uh, leads these are my mythic leads uh, I've got four there ranged weapons I'm just going to scroll down I get some of these weapons for doing missions. Um, sorry, I went a bit too far there. A couple of things are all completed. Nothing too fancy. Uh, event people. As you can see, I don't have anything from 2018. Uh, apart from the crack shot, because he came out. Um, nothing from these, nothing from these, didn't play around any of these times, these are the, re the recent ones, these blockbuster heroes, the mythic ones, they've just been released uh, in the new event. Carbide is really good for dungeons, the event schematics, I've put all of the spy and dragon, my collection book, and the ones I wanted I've still got and dupe so there's that I've got the blizzard blitzer twice uh, I've got the gamatron 9000 in the sci-fi llama schematic so I was pretty happy about that could have done with the deatomizer or even the post 9000 or the astrobat but you can't go wrong with a sci-fi weapon these are the new flintlock weapons now I have all of the ones you can get Corsair, Jack's Revenge, Sahuti, Fishing Hook, Spyglass, or Betsy. The reason why it's not saying they're here is because I've uh, upgraded them. But yeah, Steampunk. These were the ones we were meant to be getting. And I don't know how I got the Steam Thrasher, but I somehow have that schematic. Medieval Weapons, the Wicked Wind, and Smasher Basher. Also the Star Wars Squire. I think I just got these from missions. This came out in the uh, weekly store. Expansion people, uh, not really that many. And then obviously I've got the pistol in my collection book. Um, vacuum tube, military weapons, neon weapons. Nothing too exciting, as you can see. But that, that is my whole collection book. So now I guess we can move on to my quests um, for dungeons. I've just got to do my daily and then I've done all the dungeons, the 140 ones, uh, all the normal missions, everything. Uh, daily challenges for the war games, I've done none today. Um, what else is there? The blockbuster. I'm on page 5 I think. <laughs> Repeatable quests. Your usual stuff. I don't really focus on these too much, but yeah. Side quests. I've got to do Plankerton Endurance. I've done Canny, Twine, and Stonewood. Uh, play with others, Twin Blast, Save the Teddy Bears. 
uh, the group effort. I've done all of the main quests. Uh, like these are all the ones I've completed. I done all of these in um, two weeks. Believe it or not, I done Stonewood, Plankerton, and Canny in two weeks. So there's that. Absolutely everything. And yeah, they're my quests. Also, I'm on uh, power level 82 plus zones because what I did was when I got to Twine, I just skipped my uh, SSDs because there wasn't really a need to do these missions because they're not actually quest line. They're just telling you to do different stuff. So I've got my power level up and I just do these as I go along. Um, I know there's a few more stuff I can go over, but uh, I'm just going to go over my uh, Fortnite locker. Some people want to see this, some people don't. But, uh, yeah, here's the Deadpool. Some Season 4s. Season 4 Plus is mainly um, what it is. There's a Season 3 skin, uh, the Rogue Agent, which I'll come to in a sec. There you are. That's my Season 3 skin. The rest of the season 4 plus. So as you can see I did play BR for a little bit. I got gifted this the other day by one of my moderators. Such a nice guy. Uh, so as you can see not the best but quite a few skins. Back blings they're not even good either. But I won't spend too much time on this. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, here are my back blings. As you can see, they're not the most fanciest. I don't really want to spend too much time on this because, you know, it's about save the world, not really, um, the lockers, my pickaxes, the mini pickaxe is probably the most exciting thing here. Omega pickaxe. Slam dunk, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Reps are absolutely trash. Emotes, I've got a load of these gifted, so I'll go through what ones I got gifted. So I got gifted this one, I got gifted this one, I got gifted this one. Um, gifted this one. Gifted this one. I got gifted this one. This one. Um, and this one. 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 <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've been gifted a lot, a lot of stuff. So a massive, massive shout out to everybody that has been gifting me stuff. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's actually amazing. I love helping you guys out and you guys don't have to pay me back like this, but you guys do anyway. And I'm actually so grateful you guys don't understand. I guess the last thing to go through is my banners. So I've got uh, the endurance banners for uh, Stonewood, Canny, Squine. Um, dungeons, dungeons one forty zone, ten daily dungeons. Uh, Inferno, I think. No, that's Inferno. And then these are the war games. So yeah, not that many. Standard. Battle Royale, I have quite a few. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, whole account overview, I think. These are the stuff I've brought. Um, but yeah, my guys, that's pretty much it. Upgrades, fully max, obviously. Here is proof that I've done 30 out of 30 waves on my endurance. Um, so yeah guys I think that's pretty much it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed I know the video was not the best I just wanted to give a quick run through on uh, 
my hero loadouts and my uh, stuff like resources everything that I've managed to achieve in the first 100 days in the next 100 days hopefully we would have been able to expand this by way way more I know there are certain people on like 700 800 days but uh, I'm pretty proud of what I've achieved in 100 I got to power level 122 in under 100 days um, so yeah guys thank you guys so so much for watching I'll catch you all in the next one or the live stream but yeah, peace out.